Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Juliet here with another video. And today we're going to be making this ho 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 motif, um, which is small enough that you can wear it as an earring. It's quite thin, as you can see, so it's nice and lightweight. It does support itself um, pretty well. So uh, you can stiffen it if you want to, but you do not have to. You could also obviously, instead of doing an earring, you could m just put a brooch back on it and make it into a brooch. Or um, you could even use it as a an ornament on your tree. Um, so we're going to be making this. It's not difficult, um, necessarily difficult. <laughs> you know, I say that in quotes. Uh, but it kind of is a little bit complex. So if you are a beginner beginner, I would not try to tackle this. I would go off and um, maybe practice on some other projects and then come back to this. Um, it's mostly right angle weave. Well, it's mostly modified right angle weave and then um, embellished. Um, so the premise is that the O's and the wreath are separate. This H, the H's, are all one part, <laughs> um, which is the, the kind of challenging part. And then we just sew it all together with square stitch at the end. Um, so that is you know, kind of how it's constructed. So, you know, like I said, it's kind of easy, but it's kind of not. <laughs> so if you're really a beginner, then I would avoid this project if I were you, okay? Um, the materials are very basic. Uh, obviously you'll need your earring findings. Um, and I have a wire guardian at the top here um, to connect on. Uh, and it, actually it's kind of neat because it does balance straight up and down. I mean, you can't see that because of the angle, but it, it does actually balance and hold itself straight, which is amazing. I didn't know it was going to do that when I came up with the concept. Um, and in case you're wondering, I actually at first started to try and do it this in um, uh, craw. And I realized very quickly it was going to be very heavy and it was also going to take a really long time to stitch the whole thing. Um, and that's when I kind of came up with this idea of doing this embellished um, right angle weave. So that's some of my um, stuff. And here's like, I was trying to figure out what was the cutest way to join it all together. Um, so it's kind of like this, but instead of this being gold it's gr it's green like this so um so yeah that's where i don't know where it came from it just popped into my head and um it wasn't what i had planned to do for this year but hey i like it it's cute okay <laughs> um so the materials uh i was saying you're gonna need an earring finding and um if i would get a wire guardian if you don't have a wire guardian you can just make a little loop of like 15 OC beads, okay? Um, and then the rest is 11 O's, 11 O's, 11 O's, 11 O's, and 8 O's, and that's it. So we've got some galvanized gold Miyuki 11 O's here. These are some um, silver lined clear, and I think these are actually a different brand, not Miyuki. I don't know, they were just in a bag, so I just grabbed them. Um, uh, then I've got some Miyuki uh, Ruby Red, um, which is number 11 um, of the 11 O's, the Silver Lined Ruby Red. And then some green AB, I will put the number in the comments below. And these are not even Miyuki, these are Dynamites. I like these ones because they are a little uneven. I use them for my other um, wreath earrings and um, they kind of have like different colors in them. 
they do have an AB coating, but they're, um, like, I wouldn't use the, they're not very regular, but they're great for greenery, which is why I have those. Um, and then I'm using some Fireline. I'm using eight pound today. You can use six or four if you really wanted to. Um, and obviously you'll need a needle. Mine's a size 10 and you'll need some scissors. Um, and this is probably going to end up being split into two parts, this video, just so you know. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've threaded my needle with about two feet of thread. And as always, we're gonna leave a little tail. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off just with four um, beads for our base. Hang on, I'm gonna pull you in a little, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna pick up a silver, a green, a silver, and a green. And we're gonna start by making the two O's. So we'll do that first, then we'll make the wreath, and then we'll come back probably in the second video to do the H's, okay? Um, so go ahead and pick up your silver, green, silver, green, and push them down to the end of your thread, leaving a tail, and just pop up through that very first silver bead, okay? So just go through the silver bead to make a circle of four like that. Okay. Now we're going to be doing MRAW, um, modified right angle weave. So we're going to pick up two of our silver beads and then one of our green beads and one more silver bead. So four in total. Okay. Hang on. That green bead looks very skinny. Let me get a different one. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put that one off to the side. There we go, okay. Um, so you should have four, so silver, silver, green, silver. And if you're coming out the silver bead here, you're gonna go into the green bead next to where you're coming out. And you're going in the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna pull. And then with your thread, sorry, so these are the four beads that we've added right here. We're gonna sew into the second silver bead, okay? So not the first one that we added, but the second one. So we're skipping the first one and we're sewing into the second one. And when you pull that, it's going to look like this, okay? So now we're just going to repeat this. So we're gonna pick up again two, one, and one. And again, we're coming out here, we're gonna sew up into the green bead right here. We're going to skip the first silver bead that we just added and so into the second silver bead okay and what this is doing is we're basically doing right angle weave but we're filling in the, this gap on this side okay so you can see how we have three at the bottom that's how many units we have you can count these ones at the bottom so keep going until you have nine beads at the bottom, or if you're counting the green beads, you should have 10 green beads, okay? So we're just gonna keep doing that again and again. So you're picking up your two, your one, and your one. You're sewing up into the green bead. You're sewing into the second silver bead. And just make sure that it's all sitting nicely when you're doing that, okay? So I am going to go until I have nine beads along the bottom and then I will come back. Okay, we are back and hopefully you got that done and it looks something like this. Um, so I have, if you count the bottom beads, you should have nine 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine silver beads along the bottom, okay? So the tenth um, unit, we're going to join the front and the end together of our little um, line. So what we're going to do is we're going to just fold it, like make sure you keep it straight and fold it over, okay? So you can see where it needs to go, okay? Now we're going to pick up two silvers, just like we've been doing, but we're not going to pick up a green because the green is this one right here that we're going to join into. So if I am coming out this bead right here at the top, I'm going to sew, and I'm on the left-hand side here, so I'm going to sew from the left to the right through that green bead at the bottom, okay? So just make sure if your thread's coming out the left, you're going in from the left, or if your thread's coming out the right, go in from the right, okay? So we're gonna sew like that. I'm not gonna pull it tight right now, just so you can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna pick up one more silver bead, okay? And we're going, we're, our thread's now coming out the, the right-hand side, so we're going to sew from the right to the left through this top green bead right here, okay? So go ahead and do that. And when you pull it, it's going to form a little ring. Excuse me, I have a little bit of an allergy issue here. Um, okay, and so just let me loosen this up again so you can see again. So if these are my two silver beads right here, remember how before we were sewing into the second one? So that's the first one. This is the second one down here. That, sorry. That's the first bead. This is the second bead. So go ahead and sew through the second bead. Okay. Pull that nice and tight. And then, right next to where our tail is, we need to add one more silver bead. So go ahead and pick up one. So I'm coming out here, and just above this green bead, I'm going to add one more silver bead. So go ahead and sew through where your tail is coming out. Okay, right there. Just go ahead and nice and tight okay so we've now formed a little circle and now we're gonna squish it with our fingers and what we want is we want the um, like where there's less beads the bottom row is gonna be the inside so just squish it flat okay um, then we're gonna work our way so I'm coming out right here. I'm going to go through the green bead to get to the inner ring. And then I'm going to sew all the way around through all the silver beads. And it doesn't matter which way you go. You can go left, you can go right. It doesn't matter, okay? Just make sure you go through all the inside silver beads and that is going to help it flatten out even more. So I'm just passing through all of those beads. Okay, and pull that nice and tight. Kind of flatten it out with your finger, okay. So there will be some gaps on the outside ring. That's okay. We just want the inside ring to be as tight as it can possibly be. And if you are using all the same brand of the seed bead, yours will probably fit a little bit better than mine does, okay? All right, so it's okay that the outside is a little bit gappy. So this is what we have. 
Okay, so here we are. I am coming out the top of this bead here, and you will notice that uh, I'm right next to a hole, and directly opposite the hole, there is another silver bead. So we're gonna fill this hole, um, kind of cover it up. So go ahead, pick up a green bead, and I'm coming out the top of the bead that's next to the hole. So I'm gonna go into the bottom of the bead that's on the opposite side of the hole, okay? Then I want to straighten this out because it's kind of sitting at a diagonal. So you have to enter from where you came initially. So I came from this upper corner here. So I'm going to go down into that bead from that corner and which is going to help straighten it out. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into the bead we started at from the bottom. Okay, and now that is straight. It's um, straight with these two. So we went from here, we went up, we went down, and we went up on the other side. Now we're gonna move forward one bead on the inner ring. Okay, so now I have a hole here, and here is the opposite bead right here. So I'm gonna fill that hole. So pick up a green bead go into the bottom of the bead opposite. Enter from the upper left um, corner. Just straighten that bead out. Oop, got looped around the bead above it. Hang on, there we go. And then into the bottom of the bead we started at plus move up to the next bead. So you can go ahead and move up both of those beads. Make sure you don't get looped around the beads that you've already done. And we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. So we're gonna pick up a green, go up into the um, opposite bead, go down from the upper left corner, and go up into the bead we started at, plus one. So just repeat that until we don't have any gaps, um, any holes left, and then I will come back. Okay, so I am now about to fill in my last gap. So pick up a green, go into the hole opposite, go down through the bead and up into the middle and I might as well move forward as well just for unity's sake okay so now we have this um, and you'll notice it is still gappy right so I am coming out a bead right next to a green bead so if I'm coming out the top I can go into the top of the green bead to just turn around okay so I just popped from here, I was coming out, I just went down into that green bead right there. And then we're just gonna go around and fill in each gap between the green beads with one green bead. So just go ahead and go around and fill in each gap. So it should then be quite solid. And you'll notice that it starts to feel more rigid. So. Um, what I'm doing is I'm calling these beads the spine that we just added a minute ago, and then we're just filling in the spine, okay? <laughs> uh, so go ahead, pop all those beads in. Okay, so I'm popping in my very last bead now. Okay. And I'm just going to run through them all again, all the green beads, just to reinforce this top bit because it's the bit that people read. <laughs> Okay. 
Make sure you don't miss any or skip any. It's easily done with these little 11 0 beads. Okay. And when you get back around to where your tail is, if you go a little bit beyond your tail, I think I just got looped. Yeah, I did. Okay, sorry, I got a little stuck there. So I've gone beyond where my tail is. So my tail's coming out here, as you can see. So I went, kept going around a little bit further. And then if I look and see what bead corresponds to where I'm coming out, which is this one here, I can just pop down into that silver bead and then up. And I'm actually gonna run around this line, this outer line one more time. And when I get back to my tail, I can tie them together and sew them in. And once you've done that, then you're, you can tie your ends off. And then you're going to have to make one in red <laughs> because we have a red hoe and we have, oh, that sounds bad. We have a red O here. And we have a green O. So we've done the green O, so we need to do the red O, which I will let you just re-watch um, this, rewind, and do it again with a red beads, okay? So I'm just going to sew all through all these again. Reinforcing is always a great idea. Tie your two ends together. So... I like to put my needle over the left side, put my needle over the right side, and that way I know I'm doing a square stitch. And then you can just sew your ends in and trim them off. And don't worry if the outer beads are a little bit wonky. I don't know what happened here. I think my thread got looped around. It's fine. It's going to be, I can sew it in and hide that if I need to. Okay, so go ahead and make your red one as well, and then meet me back here. Okay, so hopefully you have now done your red O as well, just the same as we did the green O. Okay, so now we are going to make our, um, our wreath area, which is basically a giant one of these, but we don't fill it in the way we do um, with the O's. So you're going to need again about uh, probably two and a half feet this time, I would guess, or two and a little bit of um, of thread. Go ahead, thread your needle. Okay, so once you've got your th needle threaded, just go ahead, leave your, um, you know, your normal sort of four inch tail. Um, and it, it's the same MRAW technique as what we did before, but just using the 8O beads. So go ahead and pick up uh, four 8Os to start and go ahead and obviously push them down to where your tail is and go through the first bead again. Actually, I'm going to go through all four because these are such big beads. Um, they tend to you know, you can fit more thread in and they tend to loosen up a little bit more. So go ahead and go through all four and then the first one again to get that foundation square going, okay? And then we're gonna pick up four. So normally if you were doing right angle weave, you'd pick up three and you'd go through here, but we're picking up four um, of our eight O's and we're going up through here, okay, for our modified. Then we're going to skip the first bead, which is this one, and we're going to sew into the second bead. 
So the first bead is gonna sit right here on top of that little join, okay? Um, so go ahead do and just repeat, just like we did for the um, silver bead, but you don't have to pick up two different colors. So you're just picking up four, going up through that bead there, skip the first bead, go into that second bead. Okay, and we're just gonna make our little line of emerald. And so I have three units now, one, two, three. Keep going again until just like with our um, O, we want nine at the bottom, okay? So do that and meet me back here. Okay, so we are back and you should have um, nine units of emerald. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, by counting the bottom, okay? So we're going to do just like we did before. We're going to join. So go ahead and fold your, or wrap it around your finger, however you want to do it. Fold it over so it's nice and straight. Um, go ahead, pick up two of your eight O's. And I'm coming out the left side here, so I'm going to enter into the left side of this bit right here. So if you're coming out from the left, you're going into the left, okay, with your two. And then we're going to pick up one. Okay, so I'm coming out here. I'm going to pick up one and I'm coming out the right. So I'm going to enter into the right. And then I'm going to skip that first bead that we just added and go into that second bead that we just added, okay, in order to form our circle. And then remember, we have one bead missing right here, so we need to add one more. So go ahead, pick up your 8O and go into the next 8O, which is the one that your tail is coming out of, okay? There. So now we have our little ring of emerald, okay? Um, so we're going to turn and go onto the inside. So go ahead. So I am coming out right here. I'm just going up into the next bead on the right angle weave unit. So if that's the square there, I'm just going up that bead there. And then we're gonna pull that middle circle all nice and tight. So we're gonna run through, and it doesn't matter if you go left or right, we're gonna run through all of those middle top beads there. So there should be 10 in total if you've done it right, okay? Run through all of those plus a couple extra. In fact, I might run through them all a second time just for funsies. And really pull it and try and flatten out your wreath, okay? Try and get that nice and flat. Okay, so that is our wreath now pretty flat. Um, now you'll notice there are some big gaps on the outside, okay, of the ring. We are going to fill them in um, with uh, these other colors and we're also going to remember how we filled in the holes. We're going to fill in the holes with the 11 O's, but there is no right or wrong here. Okay. Um, because I kind of did this randomly. So don't get annoyed with me, but, <laughs> um, so I'm just going to, I'm coming out the top next to this gap. I'm going to pop in a silver bead here. So I'm coming out the top, I'm just gonna go into the bottom. 
And remember how last time we went back over into the middle? We're not gonna do that this time, okay? So just go ahead, so up. Um, here, there's kind of a gap, so I'm gonna put in maybe a gold bead. I'm just making this up, okay? Um, then here, I'm gonna put in this hole a red bead. So I'm coming out the top, I'm gonna go in the bottom, move up to the next bead. So I moved up, went in here, went up into the next bead, so I'm next to the next gap. Here I might put in a gold bead, I guess. Um, sure, why not? Okay, so here, yeah, I'm gonna put a gold bead right there. And then I'm gonna move up three. Um, here I might put another red bead. And I'm gonna move up two. So there's no correct colors or, you know, um, correct anything really. I'm gonna put another silver. Now right here, there's quite a big gap as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is in order to kind of fill the gap, no, uh, I'll come back around and do that outer bit. Okay. Um, so let's move up. I'll do another gold bead here. You can also, if you want, pop in a, one of your light green beads, but I just don't think they show up very well. So I'm not using my light green beads. I'm only using um, kind of the red, the silver, and the gold for this. Um, it's up to you. It's your thing. You could totally go off piste and make a purple and blue um, little ho 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 if you want. You know, you, you're the you're the person who gets to pick what it looks like. Okay, here I'm gonna do a red, and then right here there's quite a big gap, so I'm gonna put a silver in here for now, just to um, kind of help that. Like I said, we will go back and fill in any more holes and you will need somewhere on the outer edge a red bead, which is going to be where your uh, wreath bow is going to go. Just be aware of that, okay? I think I'll do a silver bead here. This is also another reason why this isn't beginner friendly because in my experience um, a lot of beginners don't like to just be told just do whatever you feel like um, it stresses them out so um, okay so right here there's quite a big gap I'm gonna put my red bead there which will be where my bow will go and then um, I think I might do yeah I'll put do a red here. Um, okay, so I'm just kind of crisscrossing diagonal up and down through the inner ring and the outer ring, okay? Um, so I filled in all of my holes, so I'm going to move to the outer ring now and any more gaps that I want to fill in. I'm just gonna pop in another um, bead. So right here is quite a big gap. So I'm just gonna pop in a silver bead right here. And right here is quite a big gap. I think I'll put in a gold bead there. And then there's quite a big gap right here as well. So I'm gonna put in, um, I'm gonna put a red bead right here, even though there's a red bead there, that's okay. Well, no, maybe I won't. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I want it to look kind of random and natural, okay? Okay, so now, oh, there's kind of a gap over there I want to fill as well. Um, and kind of right here. Let's put a silver bead right here. So yeah, I'm just filling in the edges 
no rules here. I'm going to put um, maybe a red bead here. Why not? Okay, so my edges are pretty filled in. So I just need to figure out where I want to put my bow. I think I'm going to put it over here because I have a, light, a lot of red. Um, actually, no, I'm going to put it down here, I think. Uh, so I'm going to make my way over to this red one on the edge. So just sew forward until you get to a um, one of the red filler beads on the edge, okay? Okay, so once you get there, go ahead, go through it. So you're coming out of it, okay? So here I am, I'm coming out of my red bead. And this bow is exactly the same as the bow on the wreath in my wreath earrings tutorial. Um, so you're gonna pick up nine of your red beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we've got nine beads in total, three, 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 nine. Okay, you're coming out from your red bead here, just sew right back into it again. Then we're gonna pick up another nine, which is gonna be like the other half of the loop on the bow. One, two, three. Four, five, six seven, eight, and nine. So again, I've picked up nine. Okay, so nine beads, yep. And again, I'm just going to sew into that one, just that one red bead right there, okay? Okay, and then we have to make the little hanging ribbons and they are six beads. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so pick up six and push them down. Then you're gonna skip the first bead. So that very first bead, skip it. I can't tell if that's showing up. Skip that first bead and go up the other five. Okay. And pull. And if, if it's a little bit far away from your wreath like that, just grab on with your nail to that very end bead and then pull and it'll tighten right on up. See, it's like gone right up flush against it now. Sorry guys. Once we sew up here, we have to sew through that base bead on our wreath again. Um, I don't even know if you can see this, but yeah, go ahead and sew through. Sew through that that one bead right there, okay? Your, that all of your bows are going into. Okay, sorry. And then pick up your six. Push it down. Skip that first bead. And sew up into, so skip that first bead and sew up into those five plus that one bead that is attached onto your wreath right there, okay? So I've got my one dangling down here, I'm going through five. Okay, so there is our cute little bow. 
So now my tail is coming out here. So I am just going to sew up and meet my tail. Trying to not get looped around my, my bow at all. Um, okay, and then we're just going to um, tie another square knot. So I've got my needle in my right hand. I've got my string in my left. I put my needle over and flick it under. Pull. Put my needle over and flick it under and pull. That's a square knot, okay? So here is our wreath, and you can kind of move the bow a little bit to uh, make it sit nicely. And then go ahead, sew in your ends, and cut them off. So this is the end of part one. I will upload a second video, and I will put the link um, right here in the corner so you can go and... Um, watch part two. See you soon. Bye for now.